All right, you made it to the next video. Congratulations. And hopefully you're not just going to the next video. You've done what we've asked you to do in the past videos. You're actually doing outcome 4321 at least two times a day. And you have your carry around thought or thoughts. Maybe you've got a couple of those that you're using throughout the day. And maybe you're even listening to the Peak Performance Audio Series or CD, right? That can help you too. So great job on everything you're doing. Now, what you have to do is you need to understand there's going to be obstacles. There will be things in your way that you have to get rid of. When I wanted to go from 180 to 170, one of the first obstacles was that I liked chips. And even though I was changing my thoughts, right, there were chips all over our pantry. And so I had to go in there and I had to get rid of some of them. And tortilla chips were what I loved back then. And then I had to also ask my wife to stop buying so many of the tortilla chips because she didn't eat them, but she knew that I liked them and she knew that my children liked them. So I had to remove some of the obstacles. Sometimes the obstacles are physical things like food that's not the kind of food you need to be looking at when you go into your kitchen or pantry or refrigerator. Sometimes it's things like emails or tasks that you have that keep popping up, but they're obstacles to you getting what you want. Now, I know you have to check your emails, but do you have to check them 10 times a day or some people 30 times a day? Every time their Blackberry or their phone goes off with a new email, they immediately grab it and check it. Well, what does that do? It takes their focus off whatever it was on prior to that. You can't multitask. That's a myth. I know people have talked about it, but what you do is you switch tasks. You take your focus from one thing and you apply it to another. And that's okay to do at the right time. But when you're focused on an important task, something that you've got to get done, keep your focus there. So maybe one of the obstacles is checking emails too much if you want to be more effective in your business. Whatever the obstacle is, you need to eliminate it. A lot of the obstacles will be thoughts that pop up. Like thoughts of, I don't like making calls and you need to make calls to be able to be successful. You might have a thought that, you know, all right, I have to make these calls, but I don't like making calls. I hear that from people all the time. They know they've got to get on the phone to contact people, but they don't like doing it. And so they keep holding on to that thought that I don't like doing it. That thought doesn't help them. And I, I tell them, you've got to change that thought. You've got to create a new thought. You literally, if you're going to be great at getting on the phone and contacting people and persuading them, you have to have a thought that I love getting on the phone. Sounds crazy, doesn't it? Going from, I don't like getting on the phone to, I love getting on the phone. But when you work on making that shift, you absolutely can change how you feel about the phone, or in my case, how I felt about carrots and celery as a snack versus chips. And one of the things I used was a technique called cancel thought. So I would have this thought come up that, you know, I'm hungry, uh, let me go get some chips. Well, what I did was I started to cancel that thought. And literally what you do is when you notice a thought you don't want, when you notice it coming up, you've got to say cancel thought. And I also put like a little visual image of a red X on that thought. And then I replace it with the better thought, a thought that probably is 180 degrees. So if I have the thought come up that, you know, I'm hungry, I want to snack on some chips, cancel thought, I love snacking on celery and carrots. I'm kind of joking around with you in the way I'm saying it right now, but the way you say this new thought is very important. You've got to say it with passion and emotion so your brain starts to accept it. If you need to make calls and you're saying to yourself, you notice the thought come up, I don't want to make any calls or I don't like making calls or I have to make calls. You immediately want to say what? And the way you say it's going to be important. You don't have to say it out loud. You can yell it inside your head, I tell people, but make sure you yell it with authority. So if the thought comes up, I don't like making calls, cancel thought. I love making calls. I want to make a call right now. I can't wait to make that first call. What if you started doing that with every thought that was an obstacle for you? What if you started canceling it out and replacing it with a better thought? Sounds silly, I know. It's work, I know, but 
It's work that's worth doing. You've got to catch that thought. Catch it when it pops up. You have 60,000 thoughts a day. Start catching the ones that are obstacles and then canceling them and then make sure you replace it with a thought that's powerful and magical and that will drive you to the next level. So this video is about getting rid of your obstacles. Getting the things out of your way. If they're physical things like you know piles of stuff on your desk that keeps distracting you from what you need to be or, a, or maybe it's a, a, a task or processes like you check your emails too much. Get rid of those obstacles. Or maybe it's a thought. Get rid of the thought by using cancel thought and replace it with an even better thought. It's not enough just to keep doing outcome 4321 and your carry around thoughts. That's great and that'll take you a long way. But when you get these obstacles out of the way, it makes it even easier and it makes the other things you're doing even more powerful.